quit his job at Wall Street down at J.P. Morgan to take care of the kids and build a successful online business from home, uncovering one of the world's biggest and truly most important secrets. <laughs> Colonel Sanders, 11 herbs and spices. And he thinks he's done it. His name is Ron Douglas, and he's wearing a fancy hat here on Studio B. He's the author of a brand new book that's out and about right now, America's Most Wanted Recipes, not to be confused with John Walsh. He joins us live now with his version of KFC chicken and red lobster cheddar biscuits. Ron, yummy. Hi, Shepard. Thanks for having me. You're making show. some money off this thing, huh? Oh, the book is selling pretty well so far, yes. Just this came website, out I mean, I, I don't, recipes, I don't know. It's just not one of the things I search for. But when I was talking to people about this today, everybody's like, oh, yeah, I know that website. Even Dan over there, who's, who, you know, everyone knew it. Yeah, it gets over a million views a month. It's pretty wow. popular online. Now, how did you figure out how to copy everybody's stuff? We have some food here. Look at these cheddar biscuits. Look at this. Some biscuits. And Harry, is it you here on camera, too? These are the cheddar biscuits right here, right here. See these cheddar biscuits? The white isn't perfect. Man, I love them. Tell me how you did this. Well, I'd like to take all the credit, but actually it was a collective effort between me and the uh, members of my cooking community on RecipeSecrets.net. So what, do you, you, you break it all down and figure out what's in it? Uh, pretty mm. much. There's other tricks as well. But, like uh, what? Pretty much. You know, occasionally we'd go to a restaurant and tell them that um, my wife is allergic to a lot of different ingredients, and we'd wow. ask them what's in the actual dish because of her allergies. And sometimes wow. they'd tell us, and, you know, depending on where we went. But, um, you know, it's mainly... Yeah, I would um, publish one of these recipes weekly in my weekly email newsletter, and um, you know people would give their feedback. And through trial and error, and through a collective effort, we eventually came up with recipes that are really close, if oh. not exact. If the colonel, God rest his soul, were still <laughs> with us, he might be a little angry with you. Well, I don't think I'm taking any business away from the colonel. Well, I actually encourage people to go out, get his chicken first, take it home, and then try to replicate it while they're at home. It's just a fun way to enjoy the recipe at home as well. Now, there are, name some big chains that you've copied from. Uh, Olive Garden, Cheesecake Factory, um, mm -hmm. TGI Cheesecake Fridays. Factory, you have to make sure the portions are so enormous so that one portion can feed an entire family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God about knows it. the food in there. You wonder why America's so darn fat. God, <laughs> grief. Go ahead. Uh, you know, TGIF, all, mm -hmm. um, you know, all, the, all the popular chain restaurants, we pretty much, uh, in my book, there's 57 different restaurants we've um, copied their recipes from, and it's our version of those recipes, and over 200 recipes in the cookbook as well. I am personally having a chicken leg. I like chicken legs best of all. The legs are the best. That's me. I don't know. You agree, Jessica? Yeah, does it taste like What that? did you say, Kim? It tastes like KFC. It's got it more meat on the bone than KFC normally does, though. Right. It's like a, it's a different grade of, or something. Yeah, the, homemade the spices version. are similar. The, and this is this is obviously the the the, the original recipe. Right. right. What and these biscuits? How hard are these uh, cheddar biscuits to make from from the dead lobster? Oh, uh, the dead lobster. <laughs> I remember my mother-in-law used to call it. Yeah. Uh, it's lobster. pretty easy once you have the recipe. I mean, it took us maybe about uh, you know three or four months to to replicate it, but once we got it down, I mean, you can make it in like ten minutes at home. Right. So. Most of this stuff is pretty user friendly. Yeah, exactly. Well, I'm fired up about the chicken. Glad that you like it. Listen to listen to the laughing one over here. That's a pregnant one. She's ready to get into all this stuff. Right, Jessica? Yeah. That little girl and you need some food. Mm, don't look at me yet. You got stuff in my mouth. All right, that's it. Two the bees out. You wear that thing all the time? Yeah, all the time. To the mm -hmm. movies, to everywhere. Mm -hmm. I bet it draws some attention. You know what we should do now? Go to Cavuto.